Good afternoon. It's Monday the 13th of January and this is Jenny McCormack from Gemini Crafts in the UK. I'm an independent stamping up demonstrator based near Brackley, um, basically in the centre of the UK. And I'm just going to give you a run through of the designs that we made at Coffee and Card this last week and this week. Um, so we're due to kick off at two o'clock and for a change I'm actually hmm, actually on time. Hi Baz, thanks for joining me. Now I've changed my um, position of... Oh hi Monica, of where I'm doing my videos. I'm now in my bay window in my craft room so I'm hoping that the light um, is better and I won't need to put any overhead lights on. It's really dull, it's just started raining here um, but it seems to be a reasonable light so fingers crossed um, that will do the job. Um, you'll have to let me know if it looks better or any different really. Oh and Tracy's joined us as well as Monica and Baz so that's lovely to see you Tracy. Happy New Year to you. So let me uh, wave back on there. Oh good, good. I'm glad it looks like, considering it's so dull out there. I have got the blinds pulled up, so if anybody's um, walking past, it probably look quite strange, but hey-ho. Anyway, let me show you what we're making today. So this is what we were making at Coffee and Card over the last week. Um, these fun meerkats they really are the cutest thing i'm hoping that's going to focus all right on there so let me show you the stamp set to start with so this is the stamp set it's called the gang's all mere and it features obviously these fun meerkats so you have three main meerkat images you've got a single one down here you've got a group of them you've got a single one popping up out of his um, hole you also got a tiny little gecko or a lizard a fun little cactus and then um, a party hat for the meerkat if you want one and then three sentiments we're here for you happy birthday to a stand-up friend and from all of us so this stamp set is available for free between now and the end of March, so March 31st. And you can get it for free by placing an order with me or your local demonstrator for £45 worth of product. Um, it's called a celebration set and it features in our celebration brochure. So this is not the only one you can choose from, um, but it is one of the many. So you can get this for free. You can't purchase it, I'm afraid. You have to get it for free. Tough, isn't it? Anyway, so that's the set. It's called The Gang's All Mere. And let me show you some of the cards. I think they're probably self-explanatory. So this is the uh, one we're going to start with, straightforward. I've stamped the meerkats on the left-hand side, the cactus on the right. I've stamped them in Memento black ink and coloured them in with our blends pens and I've added a thank you message on there. Oh hi Sandra, so glad you could join us but I gather you're poorly again. So I'm really sorry to hear that. That's probably why you can join us today and not because um, you're not at work. So I'm sorry to hear you're still under the weather. Anyway, so there's a thank you. By taking that image and masking the meerkats, we can create something like this. So this is basically all the meerkats, stamped, masked and stamped again. And I've got the sentiment there from all of us. So that would make a great retirement card or somebody leaving work, somebody leaving to have a baby, anything like that. Um, so a really fun example of that. And then we have two samples that I've done on um, Stamparatus. If 
by stamping in the round. So one on the left, as you can see, just has meerkats going all the way around and a sentiment in the middle. And then this one here alternates with meerkats and cactus. Um, and then I've put cheers to you up um, on the center. So uh, let me show you how we created those. And um, I have show, got here the list of colours that I've used for these first two cards at least. These are our blends colours. So for the meerkats I've used light and dark crumb cake. I've used like smoky slate, light smoky slate across the bottom of here. And then light and dark granny apple green for the cactus and or the ground here so this ground here is green and then for the top of the cactus here I've used dark lovely lipstick so those are the colors that I've used I'll leave that there for you if that's useful so straightforward for our first one just going to take one of these pieces so this is to fit our note cards and envelopes sorry that's a bit wonky well it's wonky to me uh, this piece is three inches by four and a half and I've mounted up the meerkats and here is the cactus. So I'm just going to stamp those. Now you can stamp them in black, in which case I would recommend Memento black. But also this morning we stamped them with our Stamping Up Early Espresso or Soft Suede. So... It's whatever you prefer. I, mean, I quite like the black outline, but I think it works on, in both cases. So just making sure that's nicely inked up, lining that up, and then I'm just going to pop these here on the left hand side. I'm going to bring them in a little bit, stamping that. Oh, hi, Marian. Lovely to see you join us. There we go. So those are the meerkats there. And I'm going to add the cactus on the right hand side. Obviously you could have more than one cactus, you don't just to have, have one. I think I've slightly over inked that, but let's give it a go and see. I can always redo it if I need to. There we go. Okay, for my sentiments, I've decided to use Life is Better with a Friend Like You. And that was, um, I think it was Babsy this morning at Coffee and Card. Lovely Babsy who used this one. I thought what a perfect sentiment for a group of meerkats. So, I'm just going to pop this across the top. Hopefully fairly centrally. There we go, fairly straight as well. Okay, so that's my base design. I hope you can see that okay. He is rather cute, isn't he, Marion? Um, and so I'm just going to do some very quick colouring in. Um, so as I said, I'm using these colours here. Let me move those out of the way. So light and dark crumb cake. Smoky Slate and Granny Apple, but really you could use any browns, you could use any grey that you've got and also if you haven't got the blends pens you could use another method of colouring in, you could watercolour them so I'm literally just really quickly going over with the light don't forget their little tails poking out so you can leave some white areas and I'm going to add a little bit of the dark in a second. So if I was doing this at, just at home for my own use, it might take a little bit longer. And then I might not. Depends on how many cards I have to do as to how um, thorough I am with my colouring, shall we say. And sometimes less is best, really. Because if you just do a very quick colouring over, you're less likely to um, go over the edges of the lines. Because I tend to sort of keep just inside the lines, don't go right up to the end. And that prevents you from generally 
not always, from going over the edge. So there's his tail on that one. Okay, just going to add a little bit of the dark crumb cake in places just to give a little bit of light and shade. Um, I'm just being guided by the lines on the stamp really and obviously anywhere it's obvious that it could be darker so just behind the arms and things like that. As I say, not going to spend a lot of time on this, otherwise we'll still be here sometime later. So I'm just going to use that light crumb cake pen to go over. These are particularly cute, these meerkats. Although I'm guessing that some people don't like them. It's like anything, isn't it? <laughs> a bit like Marmite, I came across somebody the other day who didn't like meerkats. I was tempted to send them a card. It wasn't a crafter, but I was tempted to send them a card. Decided that was a bit unfair. Not that they had a phobia or anything, but there we go. So, just a light bit of shading as you can see there. Hopefully that's fairly clear from there. So I need to bring that a little bit higher for you so you can see a little bit better. Um, so that's the light and the dark crumb cake. I've got some um, granny apple green for the um, cactus. So I did it this morning. I mean, cactuses are all sorts of colours, aren't they? I mean, they can be brown, they can be green, they can be quite dark or quite pale as well. And also you have sort of bluey green cactus don't you so there we go bit of green on there and then I'm just going to run a little bit of smoky slate just across the ground here it's very lightly and remember if it's too dark you can use your color lifter pen which is the one with the white top and if you want to connect that together you can do that there we go. okay and then finally I'm just going to color in the flower on top of the cactus this one is lovely lipstick nice bit of color in there like so Okay, so that um, basically is the design. So I'm just going to layer that up onto a note card. Um, I've chosen, it's actually Melon Mambo, but it's very similar to Lovely Lipstick. And I'm just using that as a backing before it goes on the note card. So here's the note card. And I'm also going to stamp the cactus on the envelope I think that would be quite fun so just stamp that now what's the weather like where you all are although you're all relatively local to me so I know Sandra's also in Brackley Marion's Milton Keynes way Baz's rugby direction okay Let's just colour him in. Just for a bit of fun on the envelope. And also you could stamp on the inside as well. Inside of the card. There we are. There we have it. So just going to very quickly layer those up using the snail. So there's our standard note card there. And I'm going to layer these two up. Oh, 
Oh, heating's just gone on. I have to say, I did turn my heating up a little bit. No, I put it on, actually, when I was here. It didn't come on automatically. It's off during the day, normally. But it certainly is dark out there. So, a little bit of snail on the back of that layer. That's going to go on to, as I say, this is Melon Mambo. But it just picks out the pink from the lipstick. Cloudy, windy and drizzle with Marion. Yuck. Good day to be inside crafting. I have to say, I do need to go out this afternoon, but I'm very tempted <laughs> to put that off till tomorrow. Okay. So... Pop that on there and there's my finished card life is better with a friend like you and the matching cactus okay oh yes and Tracy's down London London area okay so that is the first one which was this one here now I'm going to show you how to do the masking to create um, this one here with all of the meerkats lots of meerkats so I'm just going to take another sheet of the white card, like so. Hope you can see that okay. And I'm going to take the meerkat stamp, ink it up, and I'm going to stamp that in um, the centre part of my card, still towards the bottom, but in the centre. Okay, like so. Now I'm going to ink it up again and stamp off to the right hand side, but just have them just almost joining. Like so. I'm not worried it's not quite in line. Because I'm sure the pesky meerkats are all over the place. And they're going to pop this one in there okay so now I've got lines of meerkats here but what I want to do is fill them all in behind so I previously as you can see these are rather rather well warm stamped onto a sticky note like a post-it note and this has got rather well stamped but what I've done is I've stamped this image Oh, bless you, Marion. There is a lot of nasty coughs around. Um, so I stamped onto post-it notes, so there's a little bit of sticky on there, and then I cut around the majority of the meerkats. I haven't worried about their little ears and things. And then what I'm going to do is pop that mask over the ones that I've stamped. So it's getting a little bit worn, but that will do. And then pop another one here so when you are doing this the best thing to do when you stamp it on a post-it note is cut out two or three layers of post-it notes behind so that you stamp once and you get lot, lots of um, layers and then you only have to cut once so what I've done is I've covered up all of those meerkats so now when I stamp right over here which is what I'm going to do these ones that are pre-stamped are already covered up. So, let's have a go. I might actually try and fill the whole card with meerkats. Let's see how we go. Um, so, I'm going to pop him in there. Now, I know you're only going to see a little bit of these because obviously some of those are already covered up. I'm going to add some more in up here on the left. And just basically build up the picture. Let's have those a little bit higher, like so. Now I know there's not a lot to see for the minute, but I promise you <laughs> it'll be a bit more exciting in a minute. So I'm going to cover that layer up, and this is why these are so well stamped because they're rather well used. So I'm going to put another set of meerkats behind there. So basically I'm just covering up ones that I've stamped and then stamping again up behind it. Let's put these up here. 
and if we didn't cover them up then it would just be lots of layers of meerkats all over so let's just put another one in up here on the left I'm going to if I can use this one here there we go let's try that There we go. Now I'm running out of masks, so I'm just going to lift one from here, move it across, and I'll do the big reveal hopefully in a minute, and it'll look like a lot of meerkats. Let's cover that there. Obviously, when you've got nice, clean masks, it's a lot easier, but I'm being a little bit lazy. In using the masks that we created this morning so apologies for that right pop that one there like so and yes might just get one more tucked in there so I'm gonna take that one out because I've covered that area already so you only need to cover up where the stamp would go so I'm going to put him here and that will be my last one. What you don't want to do is go off the top because otherwise you cut his head off and it looks quite strange. I did that when I was doing a sample and I thought, ah, oh, yes, don't do that. Oh, that was a little bit high actually. Oh, lucky. Right, let's have a look and see what we've got. So I basically stamped covered up, stamped, etc. Let me lift these off and hopefully we'll have a community of meerkats. I don't know what the collective word, perhaps somebody will know or somebody might look it up for me. There we go. A whole bunch of fun meerkats. <laughs> That's rather good, isn't it? I could put a little one in there if I wished, but um, I don't want to. I want to avoid him going off the top. So I'm not going to sit and colour all of those in, um, or stand, because I'm currently standing. I find it a lot easier to craft, especially like this when I'm standing. I haven't left any room for a sentiment, but I'm going to put a sentiment inside. Um, but what you could do is pick out one or two. Um, meerkats if you didn't want to colour the whole lot in you could pick out one or two you could do a brightly coloured one if you wished family photograph <laughs> oh yes that is quite good I love this one here with his head on his side there's a couple of bits you can see there where it's overlaid but I'm not too worried about it but as I say I don't think I'll sit here and colour them all in while you're waiting. So I'm sure you have better things to do. But what I will do is finish colouring them all in and then I'll put a photo up on here a bit later so you can see it. Yes, this would look quite fun if you put a frame over it, um, cut out a square with a frame behind it, wouldn't it? That would be quite good fun. Got a few meerkats in the front of it. So just going over with the light crumb cake to soften those patches. And I say... I will layer them all up and finish colouring them in later on today. I will put some green, I think, for the grass. Um, yes, yeah, so let's give it a bit of colour. We don't want it too um, dull. Let's just use the lighter side of that narrower side. So. scribbling that in really 
just to connect them all together and it works quite nicely actually with those slightly further down this one I did manage to get in a line that was more, more by luck than judgment um, but these ones are sort of a bit more staggered there we go there we are so um, I could mount him onto a piece of crumb cake card like so so we will do that and then I can finish colouring him in or them in later there we go so for anybody who missed the very beginning um, the set that I'm using here is a celebration set so you can get this set for free between January and the end of March by placing an order of £45 or more um, doesn't matter if that's at class or separately um, you'll still qualify for a free item and this is one of those so that's a version of that one let me just tuck that one out of the way and the final one I want to show you is the Stamparatus so um, this one here I don't know if you can see that yes you can just about so I've mounted the standing up meerkat on there and I've got a square piece of card this card is four inches squared so what I did was I literally put the card down marked the corners turned it at 45 degrees and if you use the grid paper it's really easy because you can just line up on those main lines mark those corners just going to start with there because I find it easier pop the magnet roughly in the middle and then where the meerkat is stamped he's going to go round so let me just do that and show you let's take that set of meerkats out of the way for the minute um, I appreciate this might be just Oh, almost off the camera I will bring it over a little bit so we can see that I'll bring it over to the right okay hopefully you'll be able to see that I'm just going to put the pins underneath there to hold it so I'm um, inking up the meerkat on the plate and I'm just going to turn that over and stamp here in place like so and then the thing that I find is I have got these um, circular um, magnets I know the stamping up one comes with um, long thin magnets but I quite prefer the circular one because you can just literally swivel the card yes you've got to line it up a little bit but it's easier than taking the magnet off, turning the whole thing round, and then stamping again. So I turned him round by 45 degrees, going to ink him up again, and stamp him. And the good thing, obviously, is if you don't quite stamp it right, you can go back and stamp it again. So swivel it round, just reline that a little bit ink him up and I'm just going to go all the way around obviously you could put something else in you could do uh, what I did with the other one which I'll show you which was the alt alternating meerkat and cactus I've just taken that off now just to just to be different after saying it was easier to turn it I apologise for that it's Monday afternoon okay so the fourth one you could of course just make this go halfway around I might try that with the sentiment at the bottom I'll have a look and see so pick it up looking to see if it stopped raining but it hasn't our dog will be waiting for her walk 
Okay, so I could, if I wanted to, leave it like that and have a bigger sentiment across the bottom. Okay, I am just going to finish this off though. So that was that one. This is the next one. And I'm not worried if it's very slightly off center. It's not. It's not critical. It is hand stamped. I do need to stamp in properly though. Let's move that out of the way. So five. Six. Got over inked a few of those. This is obviously the memento that's got more ink in it. But hey ho. Oh, just started raining with you, Baz. Oh dear. Still, we've been so lucky so far, haven't we? It is middle of January after all, nearly. And then the last one, I'll pop in there. There we go. So. There we are, a circle of meerkats. Did anybody find out what the um, collective name for meerkats is? Perhaps somebody could Google that while I'm looking. <laughs> All right, so those are my meerkats going round there. I think this time I'm going to use It's Your Day because I think it'd be fun for one of my nephews. So I'm going to ink that one up. Although they've just had their birthdays, but I've got more nephews. <laughs> I've got nephews with birthdays in the summer and also April. So it might do nicely. So which one am I going to have? Just going to decide which is the nicest position. I think that one. So I've got It's Your Day in the middle. And if it didn't stamp properly, then what I would do is stamp it again and layer it up. But that works okay. It's your day. You pick up my block. There we go. So exactly the same in terms of colouring in like a light and dark crumb cake for my meerkats. You can also use grey. Uh, meerkats do come in greys as well as brown. You could look them up on the internet if you want to get a more accurate. A mob of meerkats. Perfect. I haven't got any stamp sets that say mob. I could use individual letters, couldn't I? A mob of meerkats. Well, they are a bit like that, aren't they? I think... A lot of meerkats might be quite frightening if they're all together. So there we go, I've learnt something today. Thank you, Baz. A mob of meerkats. Well, I never. I'm trying to think of the name of the meerkat from that advert and I can't. Somebody will know it. Dear, there we go. There we are. So you can carry on um, filling in and colouring in your um, meerkat. Just going to do that a little bit darker. So it's a bit more of a contrast. Okay, um, I'm not going to sit and colour those all in because... You don't really need me to see that. Need to see me do that. So I have got a layer. <laughs> I don't know, Baz. I'm sure you can come up with one. I'm going to layer that onto a piece of black and then onto crumb cake cards. So this is cut from an A4 piece of card. This is five inches by five inches. This is four and a half by four and a half. And the square is four by four and also you can vary the width of that um, accordingly so I will just layer these together put 
put some snail on the edges. This one's about to run out, I can see that. So as usual, keep my fingers underneath to get that exactly where I want it. And I'm not going to use any dimensionals, I'm just going to keep this really nice and flat. And then, as I say, I will finish off colouring in these ones. A passion of pinkies, what do you think? Baz? There we go. Okay, so let me show you the original ones of those which are completed. So I've got Hey Friend here on the left hand side and Cheers to You here on the right hand side and these are grey meerkats. These are light brown meerkats um, and here's the one that I was working on which I will finish. So there we go. So I hope you've enjoyed um, watching how I created those. So I've got some colouring in to do. This is really fun, this one with all of those meerkats. A mob. It's a mob of meerkats. I'm going to write that on the back of that so that I remember. Oh yes, Alexandra. Olaf. And new ones are. Alexandra, that's right. Okay, thank you for that, Baz. Um, right, and so I will leave you with that. Um, one thing I am going to do, and I will do that almost straight after um, this session here, and that is run through my um, paper shares. So um, what I do for um, most catalogues, not everyone, but most catalogues, is I do offer a paper share, which is basically a quarter of a pack of each of our designer papers um, and this year in the spring summer catalogue oh well done <laughs> Sir J that's right I remember Sir J um, so in our spring summer catalogue we actually have seven um, of our designer papers and then we have in our celebration brochure two sets of papers which you can get free so there is a choice um, so there are the lilies and there are also the honeybee design. Um, so depending on which pack you get, um, you'll either have lilies or bees. Um, so what I will do is close this Facebook Live down and open up another one um, at 3 o'clock today. And that will be to go through and show you all of the papers you get in the set. Uh, it's very difficult to see from the catalogue what the papers look like. This doesn't, obviously, this doesn't even do it justice because this is just taking photographs from the catalogue itself. So if you want to see the papers, um, I will be showing those at three o'clock today. And you can order my paper share for £20. That gets you 96 sheets of papers. And if you want that posted to you, it's just £3, regardless how many sampler packs you order. So if you wanted, you know, two packs, then that would be £40 and still only £3 for postage. So I will see you back here, for those that are free, at 3 o'clock this afternoon. Thanks so much. Bye-bye.